Let's start today's test with some matchstick riddles. Look, here's a house made of matchsticks of equal size. Can you make the house turn in the opposite direction by moving only two matchsticks? Did you get it? Here's the answer. Here's a similar task, but with a chair. Move two matchsticks to make it face left. Here's the solution. First, you move this matchstick here, and then this one right here. Done! I hope you got it right! Nine minus five equals eight. Nah, that's not right. Can you fix the equation by moving just one matchstick? Yep, this is how you do it. Okay, the next challenge for you. Here's a house made of matchsticks of equal size, and here's a coin right next to it. Without moving the coin, transport it inside the house by moving not more than three matchsticks. Okay, here's the solution. Step 1, step 2, step 3. The coin is inside. Okay, here's the last matchstick challenge for today. This one is a bit harder, so you're allowed to make four moves this time. You need to make a house. You've got this. Let me show you. Step one. Now, this is step two. Three. And this is the last move. In a parallel universe, it's only allowed to have fun and eat candy. No one ever reads or studies there. Mrs. Rellum came back home after a long and fun day at a club. Her three daughters were supposed to spend a day at home. When the woman returned, she noticed that someone had done some gardening instead. Hannah said, I was watching my TV show. Elle said, I spent all day sleeping and eating candy. Ava said, I went to a pool party with my friends. Still, Mrs. Rellum could tell that one of her daughters lied. Who was it? It was Ava. Oh, no. Take a closer look at her hands. She has some dirt under her fingernails that she hasn't managed to wash off. Jason found his brother Rowan unconscious in the attic of his house and immediately called the police. When the police arrived, he told them what had happened. He was out of the city and just returned home. I was walking past his house and saw that the light was on. I looked through the window and saw him lying there, so I rushed inside. I had the key. Jason was taken to the police station as a suspect. Why? Rowan was found in the attic. Jason couldn't see him through the window, so his story can't be true. Mrs. Anderson came home at lunchtime because she had forgotten important documents. When she entered the living room, she saw a stranger in the middle of it. The room was a mess. Someone had been looking for something. Ma'am, I'm Officer Johnson. A concerned neighbor called the police, reporting a stranger sneaking into the house. I came to check. Mrs. Anderson didn't believe him. She realized it was a robber and called the police. Why? When she arrived at the house, she didn't see a police car. One evening in February, Mrs. Jonas came home after work. 
Her neighbor walked past her, and they had small talk. Mrs. Jonas found out that one of her sons had been seen at a local mall. But her sons were grounded and couldn't go out. So Mrs. Jonas asked them what they had been doing. Matt said, I was practicing for my piano class. Luke said, I was reading all day. And Dean said, I spent the day in the backyard with the dogs. Mrs. Jonas figured out who had broken the rules pretty fast. Can you? It was Dean. Uh He said he had been outside with the dogs, but there was no footprints in the snow in the backyard. So he lied. Michelle was having a birthday party and invited a dozen friends. Uh Halfway through the party, she noticed that her brother was in a gazebo with someone, but she couldn't tell who it was. Of course, she got curious, but she couldn't go and check on them right away. When she was free, she went to inspect the gazebo. There were three possible girls her brother could be with because they weren't around at that time. Who was with Michelle's brother in the gazebo? Look, there are footprints leading to the gazebo. These must belong to Michelle. Those are her brothers. But there are also some footprints left by high heels. The only girl wearing heels is this one. So Michelle's brother must have been with her. Now you're going to save lives. I'll be showing you some situations. Your task is to determine which person isn't smart. Yeah. Jane and Evan are meeting their friends. Jane arrived earlier and went to get some pastries. Evan is in a hurry because he's running late. Who's doing something wrong? Evan. He's driving in a bike lane. Casey and Riley can't swim, but they want to learn how to. Casey went to the lake not far from her home. Riley went straight to the ocean with a bunch of friends. Which one of them is in danger? Learning to swim in the ocean? Eh, not the best idea. But Riley is with her friends who can look after her. Casey is alone at the lake. Learning how to swim without any people around is very dangerous. Jim and Mason are on a summer vacation in South America, and they found a secluded place near the Amazon River with no people. Jim is swimming, and Mason is getting tanned on the shore. Which of them is in danger? Jim. Look, there are piranhas very close to him. He needs to get out of the water immediately. Oops, too late. (laughs) Just kidding. Sophia and Brooke are best friends. They went to the forest to sneak into an old abandoned mansion. Which of them isn't smart? It's Sophia. That girl is wearing heels. Not the best choice in this situation. Maya and Kate are running late for their appointments, so they're driving above the speed limit. Which of them is in greater danger? Kate. Look, there are so many things lying around in her car. In case of an accident, something may hit her. Let's now test how attentive you are. Look, here's a coin and three cups. I'll put the coin here in the middle cup. Your task is to watch the coin and then tell me where it is. Ready? Go!
So, where is the coin? Look, it's here! Did you get it right? Okay, let's try another time. Now I have 4 cups, and I'll be moving them faster. I put the coin right here. So, where do you think it is? Yup, it's in this cup. Now, let's make it even harder and see if you can get it now. 5 cups, and they're moving even faster than before. Ready? So where's the coin? It's right here. Great job! A woman has three daughters, Lily, Rose, and Jasmine. She's about to have another daughter. What do you think she'll name her? Brooke, Aurora, or Violet? The woman seems to opt for flower names, so she'll most likely choose to name her youngest daughter Violet. Miel is an archaeologist who explores old caves and crypts dating back to ancient Egypt. One day, she walks into a tunnel and sees that it divides into three smaller ones. If she takes the left tunnel, she'll stumble across a mummy that will curse her. The second passage has a pit on the way. If she chooses the third way, she'll walk into a tunnel filled with poisonous gas. Oh boy, uh -oh. which way should Miel pick? Look, there's a board lying next to the pit. Miel can use it to get across the pit. Okay, and now I have one last question for you. How many mummies can fit into an empty cave? Just one. Because after one mummy walks in, the cave isn't empty anymore. Well, technically, I suppose. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.